In this video, we'll show you how to use Fusion to plan your process. We'll take you through the elements of the process planning board, such as KPIs, people and equipment, the detailed shift plan and planning future shifts. As a frontline manager, planner, scheduler or coordinator, the process planning board is where you'll spend most of the time using Fusion. The elements of the planning board are the process selection and navigation bar, standard tasks, planned tasks and shift tasks. In the planning board area, the shifts of a day go down the page, the days of the week across the page and the KPI summary is at the bottom of the page. At the top of the planning board, you can select the process you're working on from the drop-down menu. You can also view the previous week, the current week, the next week, and weeks three, four, and five here by clicking on these buttons. KPI targets are achieved by people and equipment following a series of planned work tasks. So this is how the shift is organized. Looking at KPIs, we have targets for each of a number of KPIs. These KPIs can be calculated from the targets set for the tasks scheduled on that shift, or can be set up separately in the background. Actuals are normally entered by supervisors on their actual screen. These go green, yellow or red, as targets are 100% achieved, nearly achieved, or not achieved, below 75%. At the bottom of the page, the KPI summary for the week shows us how KPIs are tracking for the week. Let's look at the people and equipment in more detail. The people on the shift have come from the roster. They have different roles, and by hovering over an available box, you can see the people on that shift. If you hover over an absent box, you can see who is on leave for that particular shift. In this example, Based on the amount of work planned for the shift, we require more than 15 people to complete the work, but only 13 people are available. Equipment works in a similar way to people, but comes from the equipment schedule. Again, there are different types of equipment required and available for the shift. The easy way to schedule a task into a shift is to drag and drop it into that shift. Because a task normally takes time and resources to complete, adding a task increases people and equipment required for the shift. Tasks can also be dragged into a shift from the planned tasks area and from one shift to another. The resources area highlight red when you don't have enough resources available for the tasks scheduled to a shift. For more detail on tasks, watch the working with and scheduling tasks video. So far, we've looked at the weekly summary plan. There's a lot of detail behind each shift plan. Navigate to the detailed shift plan by simply double-clicking in the shift you want to view. In the detailed shift plan, you can see KPIs, resource summary, safety notes, the people and equipment you need, and whether these are available or unavailable, shift notes, and the tasks that need to be done on that shift. You can add attachments such as safe work procedures, images or work instructions for everyone to see. The shift plan can be viewed on a tablet or printed on a single page, along with any attachments that have been included. This means that supervisors have a good detailed plan in front of them to lead their team with and should have everything they need for a safe and productive shift. So far, we've only looked at the current planning week. Many of the things that are going to happen this week can be foreseen weeks in advance. So it often makes sense to plan some of these things in the week three, four and five planning board so we can get ready for them. The week three, four and five board allows you to drag and drop tasks of different types into the week by task type. These tasks are scheduled into the first shift for that week. That was a short overview of process planning using Fusion. Now that you know how it works, it's time to start using Fusion to help your team make and keep commitments.